So far we have created a query using the query wizard and we've extracted fields from two tables and we've gone into the query design grid and extracted fields from a single table. And what we're going to do next is go into the query design grid. So we're gonna to go to create query design and we're gonna be extracting fields from two different tables. So we need to add employees and review. So we'll go ahead and double click on employees and double click on review. And then I'm going to close the show table dialog. And I'm just gonna resize my tables a little bit so I can see everything. And then I'm going to start adding the fields down into the grid. And what they would like us to do is add employee ID from employees, add first name, add last name, and then they would like supervisor first name and supervisor last name, and those are over in review. So we're going to add supervisor first name, supervisor last name. And then they want me to bop back over here to employees and add the hire date. Then they want me to go back over to review and add the annual review date. Okay, so we've kind of gone back and forth among the tables and it is perfectly okay to do that. What you should have is employee ID from employees, first name from employees, last name from employees, supervisor first name from review, supervisor last name also from review, hire date from employees, and annual review date from the review table. We're gonna save this and we're gonna call it review list. And then we're gonna go ahead and run this. Now you do not need to worry about printing, but I am gonna show you how to adjust uh, the orientation. We've done this before in previous chapters. You just go to file and print, and we're gonna go into print preview. And then because this table goes on to two pages, we're gonna change the orientation to landscape. And that does get it onto one page. So I'm gonna close out of print preview, save our changes, and then we can close the query.